The Attorney General Anopala made these comments following Kavo's public appearance in the media as Gulf governor. Palo stated in his letter that he cited a media statement in January and a letter to the assembly clerk in December 2014 that stated that since Carvo filed an appeal by operations of Section 103 of the Constitution, he would continue to remain as member of parliament. But Pala said this section of the Constitution only preserves Carvo as a member of parliament and clearly not as governor. He said Cavo's current status is that he is a convicted person and prisoner of the state and on bail his lawyers fail to explain clearly to Cavo his status. This means Cavo's current status under section 27 B and C of the constitution which states that a person to whom this division applies has a duty to conduct himself in such a way both in his public or private life and his associations with other persons as not b to demean his position or c to allow his public or office integrity to be called into question becomes relevant in this matter the attorney general clarified that Carvo's appeal to the supreme courts challenging the conviction sentence and resultant operations of sections 103 of the constitution preserves him as a member and does not extend to the position as governor of gulf this is because the issue of disqualification as governor is addressed by the organic law on provincial and local level governments. A copy of the letter sent to the convicted governor will also be sent to the assembly clerk of Gulf Provincial Government advising them to call a provincial assembly meeting in accordance with relevant applicable law taking into account the assembly standing orders and elect an acting governor. However, if Carvo's plea is successful, then he will resume office as governor. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.